What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gaming. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back. This is the developer diary, the final strand, the final stand. We don't know if it's the last one, but it might be. I'm right now. I'm live with the Smooth family. Everybody, say what's up, you too, to the Smooth family. We're live on Twitch right now. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you come and subscribe and join all the action. We'll be doing lots and lots and lots of grinding. We're gonna see what's going down. We got 47 minutes. Oh my God! Let me stop this music. Get their music going. Ooh, baby. Let's go, baby. Is it too loud? Is it too loud? How is it? <laughs> God! My ears! Yo, 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 yo. A little bit? Okay, let's turn it down. Let's turn it a bit. Is that, is that better now? Under a minute? Yo, let's go, baby. We're fired up. This is the moment we waited for. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm having hearing loss. Lower. It's loud. Okay, okay. Right there. Oh, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay, boys. Let's get it. Hello, everyone. Ryozo Tsujimoto from Capcom here. Hi, I'm Kaname Fujioka, Executive Director Ooh, and baby. Director. And I'm Daisuke Ichihara, Director of Iceborne. Let's get right to it. Please take a look at this. Uh-oh. Starting off strong, baby. Let's go. Hunters, your attention. Uh, who's that guy? So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. Woo! Weapons from its last stand are still on site. We knew the sticks and battled hard, but we're ultimately outmatched. It's the commission. They're finally here. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. Hang on. Oh, no shit. way. What? what is that? Let's go. Let's go. There's no way they survived that. October 1st? Damn, boys. Soon. A month away. Well, there you have it. We're happy to announce that this update will finally see the return of the legendary Elder Dragon, oh my Fatalis. God. We'll talk more about Fatalis in just a bit. But we also have some other information we'd like to share with everyone, so please be sure to stick around until the very end of the video. Uh oh, they got new information? They bought their release the next game. So, first, I was thinking we could walk everyone through Fatalis' history and design for people who've never faced it. Yeah, before. I've never faced them. Show me. Sure. Fatalis first appeared in the very first Monster Hunter as a monster only available in the game's online mode. It's a monster of legend, so to speak, with hunters referring to it simply as the Black Dragon. The Black no Dragon. No one much about it. It's as if this mysterious creature just shows up all of a sudden. So in that game, it was a monster that would suddenly show up without warning as the what? focus of an online event. But in Monster Hunter World, we wanted to bring it back in a way that lets players challenge the beast more regularly. Okay. So, of course, it's tough, right? Indeed. Indeed. No denying it. Of course, yes. <laughs> Maybe you want to delve a little bit into that. Oh, well, boy, I love it. The thing that comes to mind is probably the locale. A place that goes hand in hand with Fatalis. And that's Castle Shrade. This time we've been able to realize it with Iceborne quality visuals. And people are going to love it. And of course, it wouldn't be Castle Shrade without the Dragonator, cannons, and other elements for hunters to play with. So it's sure to be a fun fight. Oh, my God. Nice. Even though this is the final update for Iceborne, no! we're introducing a brand new character. No! That's right. <laughs> the final update, my eyes. When I can't handle it. When it apparent that Fatalis may appear at Castle Shrade, the guild mobilizes to prepare a large-scale operation, and the general who's leading the operation arrives in Astera as a representative. And <laughs> he's there to talk business. He shows up asking for help from the research commission. He's a pretty big deal in the guild. Also, players are already familiar with the excitable A-lister. He was actually known as the Ace Cadet in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Well, in this update, we're going to touch a little bit on the excitable A-lister's past when he was just an excitable cadet, so to speak. 
and I think that's going to be something that fans will be very interested in. Sure. Of course, with this new update, we're getting a new monster, and that means we have new equipment for Baby. everyone to forge. What is that? Fatalis's armor design Damn. was in the previous games in the series, and no Look at that armor. Set. But this time, we've really been able to give it that Monster Hunter world oh shine. God. And I have to say, it looks amazing. And for Palicos, we've got... Yeah, I think Bro, this Mr. One. Whiskers! Well, it's like a faux Fatalis. And on top of that, its weapon is a hunter. When teased, <laughs> you can see him going for a kitty back ride. The disrespect. Really need to see this for themselves. Oh I my God! I interested in hearing what this set brings to the table. Okay, show me the set. Well, for the skills, we've prepared something very interesting. Okay, okay. You'll be taking on a very tough opponent. So as a reward for that, the set bonus skill. Well, um, it's a secret, <laughs> bro. What? Come on, man. Of course we want hunters to add tons of skills. And as you know, certain skills have skill caps. Okay. And Fatalis is kind of the top of the ecosystem, so... That's right. <laughs> what a tease. So he's going to break all his caps. Attack 10. Critical right. eye 10. Like to talk about updates to the game system. First One piece master we'll touch. Go over a brand new skill that will be available starting oh! from this update. A new skill. As you know, the clutch claw was added as a new combat oh my option. Oh god. In and when you attack a monster while grappling onto it, the effect differs depending on the type of weapon. But with this new skill, any weapon type can benefit from it. So attacking with the sword and shield causes slinger ammo to drop, but it takes two attacks to tenderize a monster's hide. Oh my with this, it only takes one, God! and it will still drop slinger Hallelujah! ammo. Hallelujah! This will be a handy skill if you have space in your build. No, I don't put that skill on, though. And with this update, all of the layered armor sets will finally be unlocked. So now you'll finally be able to coordinate your fashion hunter sets to your liking. Woo, baby! And on top of that, we're adding more items that can be melded, as always. I like it, I like it. The amount like of it. decorations that can be melded has been expanded. And we've got other things planned, such as the ability to upgrade charms. Which ones are you adding? All right, here's a summary of all the other updates you can expect. I want to Valkana, bro. I told you. Okay, Soul Street. All right, someone go through it quickly. What do we see? What do we see? It's too fast. Oh, my God. Next up, recently we've been having a lot of fun adding Our these new pendants, and we have quite a few this time as well. The I wonder how the set's gonna be. These. I know, right? <laughs> we really have a huge variety of these. We also have new room decor available. The pendants are just so cute that we wanted players to use them as room decor as well. My room has nothing in it. We've also prepared some decor based on giant skulls and bones, so you can really switch <laughs> up the feel I can't wait to see what room. new attacks they give Arctic or Valky, bro. Players can really jazz up their rooms now. Those are pretty dope. All right, now let's talk about the next seasonal event planned for October. Oh, it is Halloween. This time around, we're going for a sort of horror-inspired haunted house feel. As always, there will be special armor for Palakos and a unique costume for oh, the I like that one. to match the feel of Yo, the Yo, these are dope! Dracula? The team went all out to come up with a bunch <laughs> of magic. No, oh, come on. What's going on, game? Capcom! Capcom, what are you doing? Ability to upgrade charms. What the hell? All right, here's a summary of all the other updates you can expect. And we, and we have, we've been having a lot of fun at. So cute that we wanted prepared some. All right. This time around, we're going for a sort of horror-inspired haunted house feel. All right, here we go. God damn it. As always, there will be special armor for Palakos and a unique costume for the handler to match the feel of the event. 
The team went all out to come up with a bunch of imaginative Ooh, designs. Damn. I think the players are going to really they look like so them. so good! Yeah. The design of the snowman has changed too. So everyone, be sure to check those out as well. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. So now, leading up to our fifth update, we're making Iceborne's previous seasonal events available again. We hope that everyone will take the opportunity to join these events and get ready to take the fight to Fatalis. Right. On top of that, we've prepared one new event quest per week for the three weeks leading up to this update. I like it. They take the place in the Seliana supply cache, which was attacked by Valkana <laughs> yeah, I got my crazy look up, I'm ready. Now players will be able to hunt some other monsters in that locale. As players may remember, this locale allows for some different playing styles, and we can't wait for players to try them out. Okay, okay. Tampered monsters too? Nice. Hope they get some good jewels and stuff from them. Final title update. For this developer diary, we're happy to be joined by a special guest, Yuya Tokuda, director of Monster Hunter World. Thanks for coming. Long time no see. I'm Yuya Tokura. Happy to be here. The original Monster Hunter World was released over two years ago on January 26, 2018. Mm. After its release, we had a number of updates for the game. And now, it's been, what, already a year since the release of Iceborne? So, we wanted to let everyone know that this will be the last free title update for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Of course, we'll continue to update content such as event quests, so there no. will still be plenty of fun to be had. So, why don't we take a look back? I mean, you came all this way. Right, and we haven't seen you in a while. No. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. It's possible that not everyone has been able to play all content that was added to World. We also added a lot of collaborative content. Yeah, definitely. We were lucky enough to have content from some really famous games and incorporate their gameplay into ours. This unique content proved to be some challenging stuff too. I really felt that players did a great job adjusting their tactics to meet the demands of these quests. It was energizing to work that with the developers monster. from those companies, right? We learned a ton from them. And Dicegate, that's me. When Iceborne released, you said that you wanted to continue to add free content to the game for about a year. Well, a year is finally come and gone. That's right. I recall being at home playing all the content that Yuya just mentioned, just as a regular player. And then I'd come to the office to work on Iceborne. It was like I was really living and breathing Monster Hunter for a long time. No! Looking back on this year, we were able to add a number of updates, but really, I'm just happy that people have been enjoying the game. It's really great that it felt like we were being supported by the fans at all times. And Fatalis, the centerpiece of this developer diary, wasn't a lock when Iceborne started development, right? That's right. <laughs> Last year was the 15th anniversary of the series, and we decided that we wanted to show off Fatalis for the first time in a while. Well, as you might expect when bringing out something from the past, the old assets were dated and were kind of hard to use, even after touching them up in CG. So we decided to properly recreate Fatalis for the 15th anniversary, and it completely went viral on the internet. It was a huge hit. Yeah, it was. And we thought, okay, Almost well, we can't for it. not put it in the game now. So I asked Daisuke to make it happen, and he made sure that all the teams could handle the work. These two years interacting with the fans has been really enjoyable. For sure, it's a special sort of experience. I love gauging the reaction of fans and trying to respond to it. It was a lot of fun. All right, with all that being said, this is going to be the final free title update. But don't worry, as we mentioned before, you'll be able to continue playing event quests. And there's just a huge volume of content to play through thanks to all of these updates. I'm sure there are players out there who haven't finished every quest or obtained every piece of equipment. No, nope, it's so impossible. we hope that you'll continue to enjoy the hunt in Monster Hunter with your fellow hunters. All right, now I'd like to finish off this final developer diary with our usual parting words. Ready? No. Happy hunting! No. Oh, my God.
god. The final free update. I think it's gonna be paid the new one now. Pay for some content. And take us back. Oh my gosh. Damn, 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 everybody. If you guys are new, make sure you guys are following as well. Thanks for coming out. Yo, Antonio, bro, I'm sad. My eyes, bro. My eyes are sweating. I'm not crying. You're sweating. The swag gear? This music, why? Luna? Oh yeah, the man that broke the game. The Witcher? Bro, our temper Valky, bro. And Fatalis. My boy Apathetic in here. What's up, man? Welcome, welcome. No, they're adding more to the game, but they might be paid content. This is the last free update. I broke the game. Ugh, the Ziggs and Ogre is not my favorite. Yup, Safi was a beast. The crispiest armor, Raging Bracket deals. The god himself. Patreon was beast. Now Fatalis. But it's all good. We're gonna keep on playing until the next one comes out of the next console. Let's just Fatalis armor is gonna break the game. Maybe we get Frost Crack on like one piece of armor. You tear it up? Oh my god. No. We don't know. We don't know what they're gonna do. <laughs> They, they, haven't, they haven't said they're gonna make the content free or not. We're gonna stop making like more monsters like this. They just said it's the last free one, so we gotta see. I better have my PC catch up to my PS4. I know, bro. There it is, bro. There it is. I love it. Ice board, ice board, ice board. No more new monsters. But look, what about the older game? Are they adding stuff to it? Damn. That was it. <laughs> that was it. 
Thoughts? What do you guys think? Excited? Charged up? The feels, bro. The fears. The tears in my eyes. Sad as F, man. I know. You charged up? Best update ever? Fatalis? They bring it. They coming with it. Art Temperate Valky? Let's go, baby. I can't wait for the runs. I can't wait. Watch them like change up Valky so much that it's like a whole different one. Sad and hyped. I know, bro. I'm sad too. But you know what though? Look, look, look. That means that oh that master layer. We can finally look swaggy as F, bro. Finally. Fatal's looking good. Mm-mm. That's a good one to go out with a bang right there. You gonna cart so much, bro. We're gonna be doing so many runs. And it comes out in one month. Where the auto layered armor? Of course I have to, bro. It looks so good. I mean, all the sets from Iceborne look really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Hope you guys are excited, pumped, charged up, ready. We got lots of content coming up. Also, make sure you guys follow the channel. Follow the channel, subscribe. Thank you.